In this video, I'm going to talk about how to configure DHCP snooping and dynamic ARP inspection. So I have a topology here. Uh, we have a DHCP server, we have a layer 3 switch, we have a laptop, and we have a desktop. So we can now uh, check if the DHCP server is working okay by doing a show IP config on the PC. So PC, so by the way, this is just uh, a this is just a one subnet so the subnet is 10.1.1.0 slash 24 and the PC has an IP address of this so the laptop has an IP address of this 10.1.1.2 so they should be able they should be able to ping each other 10.1.1.1 okay 10.1.1.2 okay 254. Okay, it can ping the gateway also. And 254. Okay, so we've we have verified that DHCP is working and uh, the hosts have uh, correct IP addresses. So Let's uh, proceed with configuring the DHCP snooping. Um, before we configure it, uh, let's let's talk about how we would, why we would need to con to configure or enable it on the on the switch in this case. Uh, we need to enable it on the switch because we don't want uh, any Rogue, rogue servers uh, going to our network and assigning IP addresses to the hosts. Uh, I mean, basically, if if a rogue server uh, can access our network, it can assign uh, uh, incorrect or bogus or incorrect IP addresses, so we don't want to we don't want that to happen. So uh, we can actually use uh, DHCP snooping uh, to make sure that uh, the switch can only uh, receive the uh, DHCP message from the legitimate uh, DHCP server. So in this case, the server. And by the way, is uh, uh, the switch will specifically uh, block the uh, offer message uh, when DHCP is enabled uh, coming from that uh, row uh, DHCP server. So let's go ahead and configure it. So basically, we just need to enable it in the configuration mode. So I'm just gonna copy and paste this command. And uh, DHCP snooping VLAN one, and you have to enable it in the VLANs. So in this case, we are just in this case we have only one. Uh, we we only have VLAN we only have one VLAN so that's why just uh, VLAN one 
and we have to enable it uh, on the port uh, going to the uh, DHCP server, legitimate uh, DHCP server. So in this case, that port is the Gigabit Ethernet 1 slash 0 slash 1. So IP DHCP snooping trust. So now, uh, after you uh, configured this on the on the switch, all the ports will be all the ports in uh, VLAN one are now uh, untrusted ports. But what I did here is made this made this port as a trusted port. So that's why the word trust. And we have uh, we have another command that we can uh, configure on the rest of the ports. So basically, this is the other the other port aside from this port. So this is just to uh, prevent uh, or rate limit. Uh, the DHCP messages coming in coming into the switch so we don't want uh, the switch receiving lots of DHCP messages from from the hosts so so that's how you can configure it and this is how this is the commands that you can use to verify the DHCP snooping. So we only have uh, we only have one trusted port. So in this case, this port. And so switch DHCP snooping is enabled. It is enabled. Or configured and operational on this VLAN and let's do another command show IP DHCP snooping binding oops yeah so Looks like DHCP, I mean, show IP DHCP snooping binding command is not supported in this uh, version of Packet Tracer. But in the real world, you can actually see uh, the MAC address and IP address mapping that, uh, that uh, uh, of the hosts on the LAN. So as you can see here, MAC address, IP address. Uh, VLAN interface, but this command is not supported in this version of Packet Tracer. So yeah, that's how you can configure DHCP snooping. So uh, now we can proceed with dynamic ARP inspection. Dynamic ARP inspection is basically used uh, to prevent uh, any man-in-the-middle attack. Uh, so uh, basically, as a hacker or, or a hacker or some some uh, bad guy can actually <coughs> let's go to our uh, topology here. Let's say that this is a hacker's IP. Or this is a hacker's laptop. A hacker can actually, when it gets access to the network, it can actually send uh, unsolicited ARP reply when this when this PC here uh, wants to get to the internet it needs you know the it needs the MAC address of the gateway right and the and the IP address so the mapping so it can you know this piece here it can update its ARP cache, but the hacker here uh, can actually uh, reply 
uh, with its MAC address, uh, with its laptop MAC address and the uh, gateway MAC address. So instead of instead of using the gateway MAC address, it's going to use its laptop laptop MAC address and reply to the uh, app request coming from this uh, PC here. So that's uh, this. Uh, feature can prevent from happening. Uh, dynamic ARP inspection is not supported either. I mean, it's not supported in this version of Packet Tracer. But I'm gonna, I'm just gonna show you how you can configure it. So basically, you just have to go into the global configuration and enable it on the VLAN. So. In this case, we have we have we only have uh, one VLAN, so it's not supported, right? And of course, you want when that command is when you have entered that command, just like DHCP snooping, all the ports uh, will be entrusted ports. Uh, of course, uh, so what you're gonna do, what you need to do is make this port here go into the gateway. To the real gateway, uh, uh, a trusted port. So this is what you can do to do that. Uh, this command can actually accomplish that, but it's not supported. <laughs> so, and this is the command that you can use to verify it, but it's not supported again. Just showing, just showing you the commands that uh, you can use in real world. So, yeah, that's how you can configure DHCP snooping and dynamic ARP inspection. Thanks for watching.